hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is purity you're so so welcome to my channel and today we are crocheting this beautiful top with ruffles and this is how it looks the ruffles are at the elbows only and this is how the front of our top looks so so cute and simple and remember you can make this top as long as you want and this is how the back looks so please remember to subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and also share this video let's get started with the tutorial this is the close-up of our sweater top and to create this we will start by two front panels then go to the sleeves then do the ruffles finish up with the ribbing at the bottom and the ribbing at the top so to begin the our work we are using this is milk cotton yarn and it's medium weight yarn i'm using a 5.0 mm hook to crochet you'll need a 2.5 mm hook to join or a darning needle you can either use a 2.5 mm hook to join or a darning needle you'll also need um, a pair of scissors stitch markers and a tape measure so to begin you need your shoulder to shoulder measurements and as i said you are beginning with the front panels this is one of the front panels and this is how it looks you'll need your shoulder to shoulder measurements to begin your work okay this is how you get um, the measurements of the front panel so my shoulder to shoulder measurements is 17 inches and to begin crocheting you'll take your shoulder to shoulder measurements as i said mine is 6, 17 inches and i will do 60 chains first you begin by making a slip knot this is how i make my slip knot and and i'm and i'm chaining 60 chains which is equivalent to 17 inches 17 inches is my shoulder to shoulder measurement so do your chains and i'll meet you once you are done i am done with my 60 chains and this is how it looks now we want to start working with our pattern we are doing double crochet to do double crochet chain two more chains yarn over skip the first two chains that you added and go to the third chain and make a double crochet okay skip the first two chains that we added two chains from the hook and on the third chain we are doing a double crochet And you are doing double crochets across all the stitches that you have okay um do double crochet in each chain that you made and i'll meet you at the end of the row and please remember to do a double crochet always remember to yarn over first okay complete on your double crochets and i'll meet you at the end of this first row of double crochets I am done with row one of double crochets and this is how my work looks to begin row two you will chain two turn your work okay this is how you turn your work yarn over and to do double crochet always remember to skip this first stitch go to the second stitch and that's where we are doing our first double crochet okay always start working from the second stitch while doing double crochets that's how you'll make your work straight and then continue doing double crochets all through until you get to your last stitch and I'll meet you at your last stitch. Row 
okay i'm done with row two to begin row three this is how my work looks to begin row three always chain two one two turn your work yarn over skip this first stitch go to the next one always skip this first stitch go to the next stitch and do a double crochet and we are working double crochets across all the stitches that you have so that is the pattern and we are working double crochets like that until you get to a height where you want your sweater to reach okay if you want a short sweater of course you'll do less rows if you want a longer sweater than mine you will do more rows okay so this is how my sweater looks i went ahead and did the shoulder areas but i will show you how it's done on my back panel as i said you need two panels the front panel and the back panel and the sweater is 14 inches that is the height of my front panel okay go ahead and make a front panel and a back panel and now i want to show you how to put the neck area to put the neck area you'll take your front panel and fold it into half like this make sure it's well aligned and then fold it into a second half okay the first half then the second half and please make sure your work is well aligned you'll take your stitch marker and put it at the corner at this first outer corner of your garment like that and lock it in and you'll take make sure it's locked in like that and then take your second stitch marker and put it in the inside part remember we're only putting them at the corner like that and lock it in like that make sure they are locked in so that they don't move and you'll unfold your work and your work should look like this okay you'll have two stitch markers on your garment that is how we make the neck area and now we want to start crocheting on the neck area just continue where you had left i hope you did not cut off your yarn and you're working with double crochets until you reach your first stitch marker okay do normal double crochets up to your first stitch marker and i'll meet you once you are at your first stitch marker I am at my first stitch marker once you're there remove the stitch marker and do your last stitch where the stitch marker was that is a double crochet and that is where we stop okay then chain two turn your work and now we are turning from here remember we are making the neckline turn your work skip the first stitch go to the second one and make a double crochet okay and you're going to make four rows of double crochets and please remember right now we are turning from here we don't go all the way okay and just make four rows of double crochets that's how we make the neckline once you're done with the four rows you'll reattach your yarn to the other side and also make four rows of double crochets so this is how it looks this is um one two three four rows of double crochets we'll go ahead and um reattach our yarn a stitch to the stitch marker one stitch to the stitch marker this is where we reattach our yarn like this and then we will start working with double crochet the same way we did um on the other side okay so reattach your yarn and remove your stitch marker and start doing double crochets and please remember 
we will be turning from this point okay and we will also we will also do four rows of double crochets I'm at the end of row one this is how it looks to begin row two chain two turn your work and please remember to skip the first stitch and start working from the second stitch and we are working up to where our stitch marker was and as I said we are doing four rows of the double crochets do that and I'll meet you once you're done working with your neckline okay i went ahead and made one of the sleeves off camera i finished the two front panels and this is how the sleeve looks to get your sleeve measurements take your mesh tape measure and put it at the upper part of your arm and that's how you get the um sleeve measurement so Take your upper part of the arm and you're going to work double crochets until where you want your sleeve to reach. The same way we have been working with the front panels and back panels. Then I will meet you when we are doing the ruffles at the sleeve. And this is how long my sleeve is. It is 10 inches long. Remember the front panel and back panel was 14 inches and the width of my um sleeve is 15 inches okay this is an outfit for size small so i went ahead and did the other sleeve also and now i want to show you how we are putting these ruffles okay so to put the ruffles once you are you hit your sleeve length you will chain two as usual and then you turn your work and now we start working on the ruffle skip this first stitch go to the second stitch and we are working three double crochets in one stitch okay that is how we make the ruffles work three double crochets in one stitch like that once you're done with three double crochets in one stitch, yarn over and go to the second stitch and also do three double crochets in one stitch. So we are working three double crochets in each stitch up to the end. And that's how we make row one of the ruffle. So I will meet you once you're done with your first row of the ruffles, which is three double crochets in one stitch Okay, I'm done with row one of the ruffles and this is how it looks to begin on row two you will chain two
return your work and now on row two we are only doing one double crochet in each stitch unlike row one where we did three double crochets in every stitch after chaining two you turn your work and you're only working with one double crochet in each stitch and we are working like that up to the end of your work and i'll meet you once you're done with row two of the ruffles okay once you're done with row two of the ruffles we'll go ahead and do row three and which is one double crochet in one stitch so for the ruffles we do three rows one row of three double crochets and the two are a double crochet in each stitch so i'll meet you once you're done with your ruffles okay and then i will show you how to join the gamut together okay now i'm done with the ruffles and want, we want to join everything together so i'm going to lay your work like this and i'm using a 2.5 mm hook we are starting to join from the shoulder area you can use a darning needle or a 2.5 mm hook to join your work should be laid like this the shoulder area should be facing each other like this so we're going to join here we attach your yarn here and we are joining the two together using double crochet i'm just using this long thread that i left hanging in if it's not enough i'll join um the other yarn in so i'm using single crochets to join and this is how we do it remember you can use a darning needle to join as I said, we are using single crochets to join together, okay? And we are using single crochets to join on both sides, on this side, and also we will use single crochets to join on the other side as well, okay? I am done joining the two shoulder areas together and your work should look like this. Now we want to join the sleeves. Take your sleeve and fold it into two like that. That is one half. Take your stitch marker and put it at the edge like that. That is at the corner. And bring it in the middle here where we have been joining using single crochets and lock in your sleeve to the shoulder area okay 
like that your work should look like that okay that's how you find the perfect way to join in the sleeve to the garment okay and now we'll join using single crochets here you'll join together using single crochets this is how my work looks i joined using single crochets and did the same thing to the other sleeve area and now we're going to join the rest of the body that is the rest of the sleeve and the rest of the body together using single crochets okay so this is how your work should look after you have joined everything together using single crochets and now we want to work at the ribbing of the lower part of the garment and the neck area okay so to do the ribbing at the lower part of our garment we will do front posts and back posts we will start working from the edge this is one of the edges here just reattach your yarn and we will start with the front post that is how we do a front post yarn over the next stitch is a back post for back post we go at the back of the stitch like that and do a back post the next stitch is a front post and that is how we do a front post the next stitch is a back post go in the back of the stitch like that and complete that like that and we are working alternating between front post and back post all through until we come here where we began from okay so just work front post and back post all round and i'll meet you once we are done with draw one of the front post and back posts i am done with row one of the front post and back post and to begin row two this is how my work looks this is row one of front post and back post to begin row two we are continuing with the pattern which is front post and back post where there was a front post we will put a front post like this we'll just go inside the front post like that and do another front post where there was a back post we will go at the back of it like that and do a back post so we are working the same same thing we are alternating between front post and back post but now it's much easier because you can see where there's a front post then you'll put another front post where there's a back post you'll put another back post and i did three rows of the front post and back post if you want a larger ribbing you can do five rows okay so do that and i'll meet you once you're done with your three rows of front posts and back post and then we will work um ribbing at the neck area Okay, for the neck area, I just went ahead and did two rows of single crochets. Just do two rows of single crochets all around the neck area. And this is how my outfit turned out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you love this tutorial. Kindly subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. And also remember to comment. Have a fruitful week. I love you so, so much. Goodbye and see you in my next video.